Hi everybody, Jonathan here and welcome to another Glow Plants video where I just really want to show you some amazing new plants for both Enscape and Twin Motion and I'm going to use Vectorworks as my vehicle to show how this works. Okay, so here's a little garden that I made in Vectorworks. Um, if you haven't seen this tutorial, it's one that I made already where I made some Glow Plants as image props. Now the really nice thing about image props is, as you can see, you know, they're just sort of flat plane, so they don't look very good in top plan, but they do look really, really good in perspective view. And basically they're quite realistic and I will show you how to make those in my video, so please go and watch that. The good thing is when you look at them in top plan view, you get a really nice, let me just turn dark mode off, a really nice representation in 2D and 3D as well. Okay, so let's start off talking about the plants for Enscape and how you add these. So you can see I'm on 2024 Vectorworks already with this lovely new uh, dark interface. Really, really impressive. I'm going to go to my uh, Enscape asset library. And what you'll notice is all I need to do is switch from the normal Enscape assets over to custom. Now I've already added these. So all I needed to do basically was click onto this folder icon down in this corner. Let me just bring this window up a bit for you. And basically all I did was select these two folders of Enscape assets from this wonderful bundle that Enscape have supplied. And basically we've got 40% off for Cyber Monday, Black Friday. So if you're quick, you can get an absolute bargain. Please make sure you use my affiliate link in the video description below. You can get an extra discount as well. Okay, so we selected that folder. That was really, really quick to do. And the Enscape plants just appear immediately. There's a really nice library of these. So all I need to do if I want to start to place these, let me actually turn off my Vectorworks plants. So let's turn off the Vectorworks image props. And basically let's go on to Enscape. You can see I've already added a couple, but basically let me go ahead and add a few more. So all I need to do is double click. Uh, there's quite a big one, but immediately you'll see that Enscape will start to add that asset. asset. Let me just bring up the asset library one more. Very quick to do. Let's sort of place a few of these along here. Now, one of the lovely things about Vectorworks, of course, is all of these snap to the automatic plane of where you're placing them. You can also, you know, rotate them around if you want to. So I have a nice little kind of run of these plants. I could also, you know, use sort of the usual kind of CAD tools and duplication tricks that Vectorworks has. Let's pop back the asset library again. Um, I think we'll go for something a little bit bigger this time. So let's go for some nice bushes along here. Okay, so you're getting the idea of how easy this is and it really is quite rapid to do. And we'll go for some of those and so on. Okay, so let's see how these look in Enscape. Um, to do that, it's a very easy win. I just go onto the Enscape Asset Editor, close down the library and basically click Start Enscape. Now Enscape will start up in its own window. Remember, Enscape sits on whatever software you're using and you can install it for any of those. So basically, let's go ahead and see how this looks in Enscape. It takes a few seconds to load in to begin with, but once it's here, you'll see the quality of these plants is pretty amazing. Just while it's loading, okay, well, it's done already. Um, so let's have a quick look in full screen mode. Now, I think you'll agree, if I walk around and look at these plants, let me just adjust the lighting, make it a little bit more uh, sunny. Okay, so these plants look absolutely amazing in Enscape and they took no time at all to add really in Vectorworks. Now, I really, really like the quality of these Enscape assets. Um, basically, Glow Plants have done a wonderful job. So, if I want to, I can minimize that screen. Let's just park that over to this side for you, and we'll go back to my Vectorworks screen. Now, a little tip I've shown you before in previous videos, if you've been watching, is that you can go to your palette options, and basically we can turn on Auto Hiding. So I'm going to see if I can actually enable that. Oh, it looks like that's not enabled right now. Well, that's okay. So basically, if I carry on adding some new assets, let's get some nice big trees or some bushes. Let me kind of go ahead. I'm not doing a wonderful job on the garden. But look how quickly over here they add in that window. They literally are instantaneous. Let me get a larger tree perhaps. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my classes. And if I scroll down, if I use my search, I think I've got a bigger base that I can turn on as well because I wanted to basically plant some of these trees in the background. 
a bit further away perhaps and just sort of see how that works. So basically you can see how quickly they translate through. Okay, and what's really nice about uh, Vectorwitz and Enscape working together is if I just maximize Vectorwitz for a second, go to top plan, here's that tree, I can just completely move it around and I can totally sort of duplicate it and do all my kind of usual CAD you know, movements that I would do in Vectorworks. Let's have a few more. Okay, let's have a couple of these trees as well. See how quick this is, really, really quick and easy to do in my CAD software. And the nice thing about the Vectorworks trees is um, in Enscape, if you like, they're low polygons, so they don't take up too much space. Let's go back over to Enscape, and you can see, you know, the garden is really coming together already. Um, and I can kind of walk through at sort of whatever speed I would like. And basically, wonderful rendering. I uh, really like the grass as well, but these glow plants just look amazing. Absolutely incredible. So uh, if you do like the look of the glow plants, make sure you snap up the 40% uh, off for Cyber Monday. Make sure you use my referral link. I think you'll find that these work really well in whatever software you want to use them in. As I say, I'm using them in Enscape Vectorworks and they're looking great. I will be making a video on how these work for twin motion as well. So let's have a look at how that works. Okay, so here we are looking at our basically Vectorwitz model that I've just imported into twin motion and you can do this in several ways. I did the Cinema 4D export. Watch my other videos if you haven't seen that process. So in order to add the libraries, I wanna show you how this works. I've already got them added in my twin motion library and you can see if I double click, I've got these plants added. Now what you're gonna to need to do is basically go down to your settings. So perhaps pop into the settings here and you definitely want to go and find where your user path or custom path is. So basically click here. Now we're looking for this folder here, the user library. And this is where you need to simply copy through the uh, Glow Plants for Twin Motion. Now when I got the files from um, Glow Plants, I'll just show you what I received. Okay, so if I go into that folder, I received, basically those are the Enscape ones. Let me talk about the Twin Motion ones. So I received these three folders here. Um, I had some maps. Now these are just the image maps themselves. You can't really do anything with those here. But basically what you can do is add those entire sort of bundle sets. And really what you're looking for is to add the entire folder. So make sure you drag those into your user folder. And then when you go to Twin Motion, um, you will basically see those immediately appearing under the user library. Okay, so in order to generate these glow plants in Twin Motion, all you need to do is click and basically just wait for a second it to load. Now they're pretty detailed models, so they do take a few seconds to load in. So this one, this particular plant has these five different versions and now each of those can be sort of separately, you know, moved around as required. So I really, really like the way this works. I think that's pretty nice. And they'll kind of snap to the detail as well. So let's have a quick look at a few more libraries. Let's have a look at another one. So we're just kind of, <laughs> Twin Motion is very fast sometimes, uh, very responsive. Now I'll show you the better rendering in a minute as well. Remember, I'm just in low preview quality right now. So let's drop in some of these. Um, I'm not sure what the name of those is. Let's basically just wait for a second till it loads. Okay, so here we go. We can place them. And then once we place them, it's pretty easy to kind of click escape and select either the entire bundle. Let's rotate them all around together. And there we go. Let's just place them on that base plane. So again, they'll snap to different surfaces if I really want them to in twin motion. Um, and what you're gonna basically find is, again, these are high quality. So let me hide this little panel here. Let me hide my materials to go a bit bigger on the viewport. Let's kind of look at our view in a bit more detail. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but when I was making this, I actually basically had a whole bunch of other globe plants added to my file already. So I've already got quite a little level of detail here. So I'm gonna scroll around to another nice view here and just have a little look at my garden and see how this looks. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. Okay, so what we'll do is frame up a rendered view. So I'm gonna to go to my ambience. And basically at the moment, I'm just in normal rendering mode. Okay, so to turn on the higher quality, remember we've got the lumen. Uh, we can use ray tracing as well, but let me enable the lumen setting and just see how that works. So there we go, here we are in the lumen. And already these look pretty amazing. 
Um, it, one other little really good tip I would give you is in twin motion, you probably want to just go down and load in an HDRI as well. Okay, so to do that, we just click on ambience, uh, go to the environment section, and just roll down until you find HDRI. Let's just enable that and see what difference that makes. Um, yeah, you know, it certainly makes a lot of difference once you get into the lumen side of things. Sometimes though, you do need to kind of like either swap out the HDRI for a new one. Uh, I can rotate it round to adjust that lighting, of course. And you know, the intensity as well, just sometimes can be a little bit bright. So just watch out for that. Yeah, that looks a bit bright now to me. So I'm gonna drop that down. 2.2, maybe maybe one actually, let's just go for one. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, so these twin motion uh, glow plants really, really do look fantastic. Let me kind of zoom in a bit more to show the detail. So if I do want to, I can enable the ray tracing. Okay, so to do that, I go to my path tracer and now you see they look even more amazing. They just take a little bit longer to render. Now do remember that twin motion will render at the highest quality uh, when you're ready. So let's really zoom in to these kind of plants here just to show you the level of detail that these glow plants come in. Pretty insane, you know, unbelievable kind of rendering quality. So if you are new to glow plants, I definitely recommend taking a look at the website. And um, they have all sorts of products there, 2D ones, but also the 3D models for Enscape Twin Motion. Obviously, FBX will go into any of those bits of software, including Lumion and Vectorworks as well. But I do recommend the ones for Enscape and Twin Motion, particularly if you are using those varieties of software. So I really hope you've enjoyed this short and sweet video. Um, I really wanted just to get this out while we've got the 40% off for the Cyber Monday deal as well. And let's just kind of let that path tracing refine one more second. And these are, you know, just real time renders. This isn't even the final quality. So of course, all of these can be animated and all sorts of things as well. So thanks for watching everybody. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please subscribe if you're new around here. I'd love it if you join the channel and really appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.